They feel it. Go, feel it. Go, feel it. Go, feel it. Practice. Not the definition I've been given, but the one I'm going to define. A consistent routine to deliberately perform with focus on refinement, development, or maintenance of a skill, a technique, or an action. Breathing, mindfulness, eating, moving, working. A practice. The first seven songs belonging to 21 total. Context. In June 2022, I needed to cope. A brother from another was in the hospital dealing with health issues. It got bad, real bad. Feeling helpless beyond prayer, I felt the overwhelming urge to harness this energy into creativity. Up until this point, I had hosted a weekly podcast for two years called Lyrical Ones, working closely with Lyrical Opposition as I transitioned out of my nine to five commitment into a new arena, self-employment. Lyrical Opposition is a nonprofit, but unlike most, is small, new, and filled with people who I believe in. We were working on a movie, and the key person was down bad. It shocked me to the core, because it was sudden and unexpected. Again, I've been surrounded by death, and my relationship to it, in my perspective, it's either you develop unhealthy habits that lead to your demise, or choices that lead to your demise. It is very rare when it's just random, although it can happen. So for this moment, as random as it was, I felt the weight of the world and what had been messaged constantly at the time was closer than I could have ever imagined. But I was reminded of a story my uncle told me about his friend. My uncle told me about his friend who became paralyzed falling down some concrete stairs. How his friend's doctor told his friend he should make a bucket list of the things he wishes to do as a disabled quadriplegic and pursue this, for this is his life now. His friend looked at the doctor and said, you'll see me walk through that door. Through faith, determination, willpower, focus, drive, and practice, he regained the ability to walk. My uncle told me this as I witnessed him starting to give up on the practice of actively engaging with his own health. I'd come over to spend time and run errands with and for him, witnessing his stubborn unwillingness to do anything to avoid his oncoming conditions. Now he was 80, but the delusion of what he wanted was clear when he constantly avoided what was needed. So I took his story about his friend, and as thankful as I was for the time we shared, I also took the experience of spending time with him as a lesson of what type of practice do I want for myself. So back to my friend in the hospital. I do my best to check in with him, give positivity, words of encouragement, praying, and having faith that he pulled through. Eventually, he did. Him being younger than me propelled me into the realization even more of how fleeting it all is. Life. So I started harnessing every ounce of positivity in me and made a song a day. It was daily affirmations, journal entries, and song form. I'd make a beat, write a rap, show up when and where I was needed to support and maintain my responsibilities, then have a song done at the end of the day. I shared clips on Instagram, put it out on Audio Mac and SoundCloud and YouTube, and just kept it pushing. I did it for 21 days. Practice. Sources for reference. Back in 2019, I went to an event hosted by music producer Illmind. I went to two of them. The first one, and the up. The second one opened my eyes to the possibilities. The first event, he told us, all of you should be making a song a day. Put it out and just see what happens. It stayed with me. Currency, Russ, Toby Wigway, Zelda. Putting out music consistently, then coming across the Russell. A whole nother level. At the time, I tell people whom I worked with in the past or considered working with in the moment, and they'd be quick to project how they wouldn't do it. How they have ideas on how to go about making music and what I'm doing ain't it for them. Encouragement? Nah. Curiosity to see how it turned out? Nope. Support for an artist as I supported them? Hell no. First, wasn't asking for your impulsive emotional response to my actions. Second, respectfully, you and your self-limited beliefs. Keep that shit over there and away from me. Boundaries. Practice. I am never one to limit myself or another. But some people, that's their practice. If you haven't heard from me directly in a while, it might be you harbor self-limiting beliefs and that's a practice I want no part of. It's contagious. 
hint, hint, blink, blink, blink and you miss it. Are you paying attention? Ask questions in the comments, you'll get answers. So practice as it is, it's daily. Brushing your teeth, drinking water, standing up, with intention and with attention. I want to see all of us win. I like for you to be around. Hopefully you find a practice that works for you. Practice part one available now wherever you listen to music. Seven songs produced, written, recorded, mixed, designed the artwork, shot the videos, and everything else by me. I love me. I hope you love you too. Stay fearless, community. I love you. Peace.